Good. On Ukraine, uh, what options has the White House or the administration reviewed to get aid to Ukraine if Congress can deliver on the supplemental request? And as these talks are ongoing, what conversations is the U.S. having with its allies who are also supporting Ukraine? Is it creating any concern on their part if Congress can't uh, deliver on the $60 billion? Without question, our allies and partners are watching what we do here. Um, U.S. leadership matters. It matters a lot when it comes to being able to support Ukraine. Now, they'll have to make their own decisions. They're sovereign nations, too. Um, uh, as they have over the last two years, they will go in forward. Uh, we obviously want to be able to continue to support Ukraine for ourselves. We certainly want to see our allies and partners be able to do that um, as well. But they can, only they can speak uh, uh, to the degree to which uh, they're going to be willing going forward based on what we do. But the whole world's watching what we do. You know who else is watching is Vladimir Putin. Um, and President Xi in Beijing, uh, they're watching too, whether or not the United States really will prove to be a reliable partner. Now, as your first question, as I said yesterday, we delivered or announced the, the dis distribution of the final security assistance package for which we had replenishment money left to provide on this 27th of December. There isn't any more money to do that. Now, I'm not going to get ahead of where we are and speak about hypotheticals or branches that we might try to uh, pursue going forward, but we need this money. The, the, the answer to this problem, as I said in my opening statement, is Congress acting on the supplemental request so that we can continue to help Ukraine defend itself. Thank you so much. A quick question on the conflict in the Middle East. Does the administration believe that the blast in Tehran is linked to efforts to widen the Gaza war to the broader Middle East? And I asked the same question about the U.S. strike in Baghdad that we reported today. On the U.S. strike, I'm going to refer you to the Department of Defense. I'm not in a position to speak to that uh, specifically. Um, uh, uh, I, I don't. I, I haven't seen anything that uh, that indicates there's a direct link to what's going on in Gaza and with uh, the attack in, in Iran um, on the anniversary of Soleimani's death. I, I, I just, I haven't seen anything tangible that would tell me that there's a, a link there. And then while Ukraine waits for a replenishment of its air defense systems, are you worried that Russia could destroy some of its batteries, like the Patriots and the NASAMs and whatever they're called? Um, and, and how do you, is that a priority to replenish them once you get the funding? We. We would absolutely prioritize air defense capabilities with additional funding that we, that, that we expect to get for Ukraine or we hope to get for Ukraine. Yes, air defense would be top of the list.